welcome to What We Watch After Dark. My name's Nathan, and today we will be going over the movie Hellboy 2, The Golden Army. It was uh, directed by Guillermo del Toro. It was written by Guillermo del Toro and Mike Miglinol. It was had a budget of $85 million. It grows to U.S. and Canada $75 million dollars and opening weekend was u.s and canada 34 million july 13 2008 and ultimately gross worldwide it made 168 million dollars but it, it it's a good movie first off i did like the film i am gonna give it a 7.5 and now we're gonna roll the trailer Roll them. Now for our next item, the Royal Crown of Beth Mora. A piece from a long lost culture. Lost? Not at all. Very much alive. And I am here to reclaim what is rightfully mine. Call security! When our world is threatened, I have returned to wage war and reclaim our land. My forces beyond our understanding. Our government turns to an elite, top secret organization. We're moving up. We had over 70 guests reported. We have no survivors. Same story here, babe. Don't call me babe. Hey, I said, hey. Red, we have company. I have a suspect. The royal seal. I'm Princess Nuala. My father died to uphold the truce with your world. I will call upon the help of all the children of the earth. The good. Back. Give it up, nasty. We can see it. You see me? How? How do you see me? And the worst. The Golden Army, the unstoppable force. Oh, crap. Kill them. Wouldn't do that if I were you. Freedom. You have more in common with us than with them, demon. Excuse me. Make the choice. You woke up the baby. Welcome back. That is a lot of fun. I guarantee. So go out and see it. But here's some here's some fun facts for you, okay? Uh, the young Hellboy played by an adult woman. So the one that was the kid Hellboy was actually a 36-year-old woman. And her name was Motis Ribe. And so, yeah, I thought it was a little boy too, but oops. Another fact is that Doug Jones' challenging role has the angel of death. Doug Jones, who does all these characters and stuff and is really good in makeup, uh, he plays the angel of death in this, but he also plays Abe. But as they were putting him in the angel of death costume, man, like the wings weighed 40 pounds. He, he, he already had so much on him. And he could only see through a little crack in the mask. And so basically he was blind and and almost, <laughs> uh, it almost took him down. So they decided to, to move a little bit easier that they'd put him on string. Uh, so he kind of floated around a little bit. But... 
he made it through, and he does a really good job as Abe. And uh, Anna Walton uh, does a great a great job as the princess. And I really felt their connection to each other interesting and more believable than most love stories. Anyway, David Hyde and Pierce, uncredited contribution. In Hellboy, David Hyde and Pierce provided the voice of Abe, while D uh, Doug Jones performed the physicality. Well, David Hyde and Pierce felt like this is Doug Jones's character and that he didn't need to be credited for his part. Well, when the second Hellboy came together, I mean, they were using David Hyde, Hyde and Pierce's name, hopefully on the poster to get more people to come. But since that didn't work out, the next movie, they went ahead and let uh, Doug Jones do the voices and stuff. And he did both voices for uh, the Angel of Death and Abe. Now, Luke Cross, who plays the prince, and Anne Walton, who plays the princess, they learned ancient Gaelic. Uh, they worked with a dialogue coach to master the lines. Their dictation learning the language helped bring a rich cultural in-depth to the characters. But I got one more thing for you about this movie. It gives a nod to Pan's Labyrinth. If you look closely in the troll market, you'll notice small fairy-like creatures flying around. These creatures strongly resemble the fairies uh, Guillermo del Toro's 2006 film, Pan's Labyrinth. It showcases his neat imagination. Well, um, so those were kind of behind the scenes and fun facts. My thought, like I said, I gave it a 7.5. Uh, Luke goes. It does a great job with the fighting scenes. So does Ron Pullman with Hellboy. Hell, he, I mean, no matter how old he gets, he's Hellboy. I hope they get that, you know. At least start putting them in the animated films. Selma Blair, I think she does a really good part of following, of showing her love for Ron Pullman's Hellboy. Uh, Liz and Hellboy really have some chemistry and they can settle each other down. Well, that's all I got for you today, guys. I really appreciate you watching. If you could go ahead and subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. It helps me get um, closer to my goals like wanting to have 500 subscribers before the end of the year. Del Toro is a fantastic filmmaker. And I know I gave his last film that we just watched a lower number. But it was because partly the, the story. Anyway, uh, I felt like explosions and these elaborate makeups and stuff are so fun you know now i have a question for you guys about that was what why does abe wear the water thing sometimes out of water and not in other times and it's, how can the man breathe or you know Whatever, but it seemed interesting that he would wear that sometimes and not others when he was still out of water. I love each and every one of you. Please pass that on to each and everybody you know and tell them to go on so forth. And really, guys, we're going through a rough time. Stop the war. Thank <laughs> you.